In this short Double O Days video, I want to describe a very, very simple concept with you. And that is the concept that each and every one of us are replaceable. If you actually look at the powers in the world, the secret organizations, the New World Order ideology programs, and all the organizations that implement the New World Order ideology, they all believe that we are replaceable. Now, I worked for ESCOM for more than a decade and I worked at Kuburg nuclear power station and during that time I could see it was a transition time because I started in 1992 I was through went through the democratic transition uh, 1994 and subsequently after that and I could see how influences within the Eskom organization changed at Kuburg nuclear power station the power station was clearly run by a group of people that were part of a secret society called the Freemasons. And I knew many of them. Many of them admitted to me that they were Freemasons and many of them um, actually trained me. And, you know, I, I have varying thoughts on the Freemasons and I'll, I'll do a video on them specifically, especially after I've done a bit of a road trip to, to show you a few things. But it's important to know that they played a very important role in Kuburg, the running of Kuburg and the entire organization. Also within Eskom, because Eskom is so important within the South African context, Eskom was infiltrated by secret organizations of all kinds. I mean, the Bruderbond, the Afrikanerbond, the Freemasons, and etc. There are many more. But it's important to understand that that ideology, that you are replaceable, filtered through into Eskom, and I saw it there firsthand. It doesn't matter how experienced you became at something, how good you became at something. You were always told that you were replaceable. Now, what does this do? It ensures that you always have to perform at your optimum. And one thing that the Freemasons were extremely good at is to extract every last little bit out of you. Every last little bit of good that you could offer the company, they would extract from you. And I'm not going to say that this is a good or a bad thing. I'm, I'm not going to give a position on that. But this is what they were good at. And I have had many good experiences uh, with Freemasons. A lot of them that have cared for me and many other people helped us in our career. So I'm not going to uh, plaster them with, with the same plaster and um, say that the surface is flat. What I, what I will say is that they influenced every facet of Kuburg nuclear power station and certainly most facets within Eskom. And one thing that was clear, you were always told that you can be replaced. And what this does is create a very compliant workforce, extremely effective. Since the 1994 transition, a lot of them left the country completely. A lot of them are overseas right now. And since then, people started getting away with murder. So maybe there was some method in the madness. At the moment, you can do almost anything you want. To get fired or for you to be disciplined is almost unheard of in the current Eskom climate. So that is why I said before that uh, for Andre the Reiter to go there and split it into three is just ruining Eskom further. He's completely wasting his time. He was sent there to destroy what was left of it. But... It's important to understand that the organization that's there now is not the same as before because all the people they know that they won't be replaced. That you can do almost anything and get away with murder. So this is quite an interesting concept. A lot of us as parents think that we cannot be replaced. That as parents, only you or your wife could be the perfect parents to your kids. To think that would be wrong and the new world order ideology knows this they know that children just want love from somebody and they will grow up to be well-adjusted adults while well, being well-adjusted is a relative term and that is changing by the day so join me in this fight to fight new world order ideology that makes people relevant now making them believe that they are everything when actually they have been disposing of people since forever. If you do not want to adhere to the ideology, they will just find someone else that will. 
and they've been doing this for centuries. But they will tell you that you are unique, that you can do what you want, that you can feel what you want, that you can say what you want. And this has created an environment where people believe that they are entitled, that they are entitled to certain things, that they don't have to work for certain things. And this is clearly a huge, huge problem because they will still get rid of you if they want to. And they have done this many times before. If you look at the political scene within South Africa, many people that would not play to their tune have been removed, Jacob Zuma being one of them. So, you are replaceable. Keep that thought. In many of my next videos, especially the next one on the fact that there's a phrase that I learned at Kuburg that says, it's perfect, but I'll have to do. And I will tell you the story behind that. It's quite a funny one. How we need to strive towards perfection, to outperform, to make ourselves relevant, so that we make ourselves indispensable, because the New World Order will discard of you without a second thought. And this whole concept I have a problem with. If you're a hard worker and you are doing the right thing, you should get your place in life. You should be able to live a fulfilling life. And currently, on the trajectory we're on, if you do not comply with New World Order ideology, you will not be able to do that. You will be disposable and you will be replaceable. And we need to change this ideology. We need to change this methodology. And we need to reclaim our rights that for people that work hard, that you should be able to get the benefits of your work, that, it, that it's not in vain, that it's not irrelevant. And the New World Order ideology will turn everything on its head and then turn it back again. So it'll be very confusing for people what will happen to them in future, especially emotionally. Just remember one thing, you are replaceable.